Hi and welcome to a very exciting review edition of Mark Fixes Stuff. Today we'll be reviewing the Div MMC by Zaxxon of 8bitclone.com. <laughs> So this really is a work of art. It's got a, what I can only assume is a plexiglass top panel and it looks like a hacksaw's dream. It's absolutely beautifully constructed. Um, I can only imagine that it takes Zaxxon ages to put these together. I mean, would you look at that? Um, looking around the unit, we've got some um, features that you see on the other similar units, except implemented slightly differently. Here you've got the resets and the NMI buttons. You've got the card slot for a micro SD card rather than a SD card. And around this side, you've got jumpers for setting the machine type and the right for the um, chips on or off. Now, of course, we'll need an SD card in that slot. So, you know, just popping an SD card that's already prepared. It's just a Windows fat with the files dragged across and we'll pop that in there. This is an eight gigabyte one. Okay, uh, one other feature that we have on this machine is the joystick port that you can see here. This is a Kempston joystick port, which means you don't need to add a Kempston joystick interface on the back of this, which takes away the need for a through connector. However, the Div MMC from Zaxxon includes a full through connector, so you can pop other devices on the back of this, which is absolutely brilliant. So, the Div MMC from Zaxxon is compatible with all Spectrums and some Russian clones. Um, its intended use is for loading software quickly into the machine from a SD card and SD card more accurately. Format support wise, we're looking at TAP, SNAP, Z80 and screens in the SCR format. And the joystick support is Kempston, the most popular Atari type joystick. A physical overview, the build quality is fantastic. The, the um, jumpers do the job perfectly and they're really easily accessible. Um, the buttons, as you can see, are micro switches. So uh, lots of life in those and the fit to the machine is incredibly snug. Um, you, you pop it in and it's not going anywhere. It's really not going anywhere at all. It's actually quite difficult to remove, so falling out isn't an option for this one. Okay, so um, let's see what we can do. Okay, so we press the NMI button and we'll go down to games and let's select um, tap file Barbarian 2, that's a good one. Okay, so it's loading. Plug in my joystick. Should have done this with the power off really, but um, this is so well connected, not much danger. I'm dropping this out, but uh, don't do this at home, kids. Okay, so let's press enter. And Barbarian has loaded, probably loaded a lot quicker actually, I just forgot I needed to press a key. So let's go to, um, let's see, one player. And let's test out that joystick. So we'll press two for Kempston joystick. And then zero to start the game. Okay. My little serpents there. I'm pretty pants at these games, so I'll show you my big sword. Now, let's try a low blow. Anyway, I'm sure you're not watching this to see me fail at Barbarian 2 by Palace Software. So um, let's press the reset button. And I'll just show you something that's quite cool. It remembers where it was. So if you press load, symbol shift P, symbol shift P for the quotes and go enter, it will reload that because it's keeping it um, in there as a virtual tape, which is quite nice. Um, 
Like I say, there's other format supports. I've got another format in here, so we'll just hit reset again. And the NMI button. And we'll go down to, uh, we'll ignore 128, because we're using a 48K vanilla, so you can see there's no cheating going on. Um, let's see what we've got, if there's any snapshots. No, I haven't got any snapshots. Most people use tap, you see. Uh, let's see what's in the SCR folder. Manic minor screen. A little bit of uh, manic minor goodness there. Have a quick go of this while we're here. Oh, yep, yeah, still crap after all this time. Uh, yeah, so we just loaded manic minor in a flick of an eye. This really is a fantastic device, I have to say. I'm not going to make you watch me play Manic Miner, although it's really hard to stop. Oh, memory muscles kicking in. Can I make it to the second platform? Oh, yes, I oh, know. No, I can't. Oh, everybody wants to see me finish this level. Yeah, we're going to do it, baby. I'll just get to the end of this level. There we go. Now then, now then. <laughs> Just reminded me of someone doing a uh, Jim will fix it gag years ago before the Jimmy Savile thing came out. Really, seriously. Don't watch that video now. Right, so, um, okay, so let's just reset that with the button. Now, the um, one cool thing about everything using ESX DOS is you can save um, to tap files and all that stuff, but um, the documentation is available if you want to do that. I'm assuming most of my viewers want to play games and anyone who knows how to do that is going to know how to do that. So what are my thoughts on the Div MMC by Zaxxon? Well, it's a brilliant, brilliant bit of kit. I mean, I absolutely adore it. I love the look, I love the feel, um, I love the way the LED lights light up. Um, only slight criticism is I'm right-handed and I have to reach over the top of the unit to get to the micro switches. But, you know, I mean, I'm really, really trying to find a problem with it right now. Um, it's lovely, the through connector is brilliant because I can add other things on like my spectrum and load the software from tap um, so that that's a real thing for me but again that's, that's geeky niche so um, yes go go buy all the links are down below and remember subscribe to get your fix this is Mark from Mark Fixes Stuff signing out and I'll see you all in the next exciting episode <laughs>